I know you're wondering about the strength of the swing set being able to handle this in high winds, but there is a uh, bordering wall right here that uh, slows the heavy gusts and a very large mango tree that goes up probably 100 feet up. And then there's also a house on the side that is a very big buffer to uh, keep the winds from getting up underneath this solar tracker. Okay, right now we have the fan turning on and it's at 86.9 is the temperature inside the box. Pretty soon I'm gonna cut another hole right here for airflow event for ven more ventilation. And right now we're at 12.7 volts and you can hear the actuator slowly moving uh, right now. So, uh, so anyway, that's what I wanted. I wanted a temperature gauge to know how much the temperature is inside and, uh, and the whisper fans and the blue lights are letting me know that they're working. Hey, I've got these instructions of this attic fan and it basically talks about the box there and it's uh, kind of how it works. So this is the description and uh, right now I'm about to go hook it up. Now, I forgot to add, this is by Green Living For You and they're out of Texas and you may see them on eBay. And this little thing is basically, uh, it's a solar attic cooling fan thermostat and it automatically turns on and off when the temperature gets about over a hundred and something degrees and then it switches this thermal coupler and makes the connection and turns on the attic fan uh, and it cools down to about below some eight or maybe 80 degrees or somewhere in that area and it will then shut off so at nighttime, uh, your temperature should be getting below 80 degrees and uh, be able to shut the fan off. Okay, right now I have just separated these wires here and I'm about to put the uh, coupler, thermal coupler in between here that then it basically goes to this fan right here. It's used to uh, cool down. So. Anyway, let me get started. I've got the uh, switch right here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, interconnect that into there, and uh, we'll let you know shortly how it works. Okay, I've got it wired up now, and there's the fan right in front of the inverter, and there is the coupler, the thermal thing. It's right in front of the vent, so if you're in places like uh, Arizona, Texas, and definitely Florida, you may need uh, an external fan besides the uh, small whisper fans. Yeah, they're bringing in a little bit of air uh, through the vents and blowing it out, um, but it's just uh, nice to have a little bit extra um, during the day because our temperatures can get up in the 90s. So just the outside temperature alone is 90 degrees. So just think what it's like inside the box. Right now we're starting at, uh, ooh, 87.6 degrees. So I'm gonna plug it in and see what it does. Okay, you can see the extension cord there. I've just kind of plugged it in and it's of course going into the box through that hole right there. And it's being fed in through there and, uh, um, the fan has not come on yet, so it's still, uh, the temperature is 87 degrees, and until it gets over uh, probably 100 degrees, we'll come back and see if this fan's uh, running. Okay, here it is coming in at 104 degrees, and I've taken the uh, lid off to show you the fan, and it is actually spinning and turning, so it did energize and turn on on its own. Okay, we're at 12.9 volts. Okay, now it's time to give you the information 
more approximate information on how much everything cost in this project. So anyway, it was fun getting it and if you have all the items that you need, it's a whole lot easier to make it move along smoothly and quickly. So uh, let me share of what I found and hopefully this is helpful for you when you build your project. Most of these items you can buy on eBay. Here's a swing set for under $150. Most costly investment was the four solar panels at approximately $800. And look for a light sensor switch like this. This turns on during the day and then off at night. Here are the prices on some of the items I bought. Notice the prices on the hardware and the bearings and the number that I got and you'll see that I got a really good deal. Especially when the nuts match the bolts and everything is delivered right to your door. I bought this tracking system as a package with the linear actuators included and it seems to work out great. I bought the 1500 watt grid tie inverter which is the highest I would recommend and also get the temperature LED to let you know how warm everything gets inside your box. I would recommend this thermostat attic switch to help circulate a small AC fan. Pause this video now and you can understand and read the information on that thermal switch. Okay, the sun is just about to hit the sensor and soon as it does I will hit record again. The very corner there is in the sun and in just a few seconds it's going to start to move the uh, panels. Look at the angle there. Okay, there it goes. The sun is hitting them and it's turning it to the north. adjustment and the time is around 9 30 a.m. and everything is just uh, set up for the Sun and it is going to stay there until the Sun covers the solar panels in the middle Everything's working great. <laughs>